speaks to Desmond Ritter's maturity. You see what he's been through already in his life and the way that he is a great dad. Let's get to Desmond Ritter. He finished his college career with 44 wins. That's the third most by a quarterback in FBS history. A big part of that was his performance against the Blitz. Over his last two seasons at Cincinnati, Ritter threw 28 touchdowns, just one interception when he was blitzed. Those 28 TD passes led the FBS, as you might imagine. So, Dan, what does the tape specifically say about Ritter? Yeah, he's phenomenal when it comes to operational space. A couple weeks ago, we did the quarterbacking, on the line of scrimmage and getting in and out of protections. This is an example of him manipulating or operating in operational space. So it's going to be a really full progression read. This go re receiver up top is a go route. Now that's a pre-snap alert. If that corner was pressed with no safety help over the top and you want to take a shot downfield, that's an alert pre-snap, yes or no, take it. Now the progression comes to this. This tight end is going to run an out route. We've got a deep crossing route. And then we have a big post at the bottom of the screen. They are going to read one to two to three. Now watch how Desmond Ritter goes about his business in creating that operational space. He's peeking to the right. Again, that go route is no longer available. And as that tight end runs that outbreaking route, that linebacker is going to match. So, okay, number one of my progression no longer is available. He's going to bring his eyes to number two. But as he brings his eyes to two, he's got this internal stunt. Now I know everybody, and I do too, loves when quarterbacks in this moment, they just take off, run, and it's awesome. But this is what it looks like to have operational space. I want everyone to really pay attention to his feet. Because as these defensive tackles are going to close in on him, can you still remain a passer for when that progression of a deep cross or post becomes available? Watch how good this is. Shuffle, shuffle. His feet stay a passer, right? That is phenomenal. That's what it looks like to be an Alex Smith type of player. And as these guys are running at him, he's going to launch that big post downfield about 55 yards. Now, the back angle is really beautiful because you can see how his eyes match his feet. He catches the snap and he's peeking to the right. Again, when he peeks to the right, that linebacker matches that tight end on the out route. Here comes that pressure, and I love this instinct. As these guys wrap, the ball doesn't drop. He keeps the ball on his chest. And again, focusing on those feet to go with that shuffle, shuffle. He can remain a passer. As he does, he sees that crosser get cut by that safety. I want to take my shot on the big post, but you have to be ready for the moment. Right when that 11 gets his hands up, his feet are ready, throws a perfect ball to give this guy an opportunity right in between the hashes to go make a big play for his offense 55 yards downfield. So often we see players in that moment, they tuck the ball around, they take off running, mm. and it looks great. It's just not something that you can hang your hat on for consistency. He's great at the line of scrimmage, but also just the remaining a passer and manipulating, handling the pocket is, is done at the highest level in this class. Yeah, and something that really relates to the translation to the next level, Absolutely. which I think is really important here, Mina. And one of the things that happens mm -hmm. this time yeah. of year is a lot of these teams have more time to actually watch the film and really go back and analyze these quarterbacks, especially the teams that need QBs. Why do you think Desmond Ritter is rising so much up these boards? Well, first and foremost, I think it's because of what Dan just illustrated, which is uh, when you dig into Ritter's tape, you see a quarterback who not only grew and developed over the course of his career every season, but by the end of it, as a senior, became the best processor in this class. Yes. Um, you know, a willing pocket, a willing and patient pocket passer mm. who still gets the ball out quickly, is very adept at reading coverages, setting protections. Big part of the reason why he's so good against the blitz, as you illustrated, he's kind of like your. Favorite quarterback's favorite quarterback. Indiana's my favorite quarterback, of course, uh, because oh. of, he does things at such an advanced level, even if the traits don't blow you away. I will add, though, I also think he turned some heads with his performance at the Combine, running a 4.5240. He wasn't asked to run that much in Cincinnati's offense, a few design runs throw in, but I think teams saw at the next level that is a trait that he can bring to the table that hmm. raises his ceiling. Yeah, that felt like the moment when we really started talking a little bit more. Todd is my favorite quarterback, by the way. And, Todd, the comparison between Ritter and Kenny Pickett comes up a lot, right, given the games each guy started in college, the amount. Sorry, Dan. Why do you have Pickett, though, so much higher <laughs> on your draft board? There's really not that big of a difference, you know, when you watch the tape. I, I have Pickett at 21 right now. I've got Ritter at 32. And I've been preaching this whole past month that, like, there's not – everyone's talking about Pickett or Willis. Willis or Pickett for, to be the first quarterback. And these two guys are locked in. Well, I got news for you. There's not a big gap from Pickett down to Ritter. Mm -hmm. And there are some teams that I've talked to that think Ritter is the number one quarterback – that they have them, him as the number one quarterback wow. on the court. So there's a lot of different opinions in the league. I'll say this with Ritter. 
His maturity and the way he's handled himself in interviews and one-on-one -on -one time with the NFL teams is part of the reason why we're talking about a rise, if you will. His play, we all knew about it. They all studied the tape. But when you get with him and you see yeah. what he's been through in his life, the maturity that he has and how willing he is. He's a gym rat. He loves ball. It's 24-7. And they see that. Like, teams can't be fooled by that portion of it. And I think it's really come out. Listen, I love his tape for the most part, like 80% of it. There's 20% with the footwork and the accuracy that has to improve. But I would bet mm -hmm. on this guy to yeah. wind up being a better quarterback in the NFL than where he winds up getting drafted. You know, it's funny that Mina kind of talked about the combine and the athleticism because when we talk about Kenny Pickett, I would actually say he was a little too reliant on his athleticism, his creativity, because he is yeah. such a good mm -hmm. athlete. He constantly left clean pockets. We talked about that a little bit yesterday. And Desmond Ritter is a little bit like Trevor Lawrence was last year where he's such a good athlete. You want him to use it more. He's mm. so ready yeah. and mechanically sound and fundamentally sound that there's moments where he's just like, hey, you are a yeah. big athlete. Just go take off and run and uh, do create some stuff. It was funny. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.